back. So as you can see, I have played ahead just a wee bit, but uh, but we're going to go back so that you can see everything. Some of these missions are a little bit short, but uh, I suppose they add to the story. That's the purpose of them. But yeah, there's uh, some of these missions, there's really not a lot of challenge to them. And some of them are brutally hard. <laughs> I'm, uh, I wouldn't say stuck, but uh, I stopped playing on uh, one in particular that it, it didn't have any enemies, but it's, um, well, I won't spoil it, but it's quite, quite an interesting little mission that's difficult nonetheless. There we go. We're going home. That's so cool. I mean, it seems... I mean, even as I say this, it sounds ridiculous to me. But all right, let's just, let's just stick to conventional sort of science, sci-fi ideas for a moment. And that whole, the way they do hyperspace in uh, Homeworld seems ridiculous. But it's pretty cool. I like it. Yep. It's all been destroyed. Oh, shit. Let's uh, quickly sort these guys out. Hopefully. Oh, man. I don't think we... Come on. No, just kill them. Uh, shit. You know what? I shouldn't have put them into a strike group because then it slows them all down. Come on, just go over and kill them already. I was hoping not to lose any cryo trays. I'm not sure if it actually matters, to be perfectly honest. I My first thought was it does, but... Um, I don't know. Colonist cryo trays. Defend our people at all costs. See, it doesn't say you have to... See, all right, we've lost one. It doesn't say you have to save a certain amount of them. Research ship, all right. So basically, this mission, if I remember correctly, it's just defending against a couple of waves. Um... And then you have to load up the cryo trays. And it's as simple as that. Come on, we got to finish them off or what? What are these assault frigates? Right on. The ship designs are a bit of a mi mixed bag, I reckon. The Tidan, some of their ships look really cool and like specific parts of them. I really like their engines, the sort of blockiness of their engines back here. Uh, the, the front of these ships kind of look a bit, I don't know, they're a little weird for my taste. I like the turrets. I like that they're different. Uh, whereas the Homeworld 2 ships, uh, the two factions turrets look fairly similar. I don't think there's really much I can be doing here. I've got them to focus fire. That's really it. Oh, hang on. No, I don't want the mother ship to move. What are, what are, oh, salvage figures. Right, right, right. See, what? This sucks. <laughs> I think I actually only lost one last time, so I don't know what's going on here. There's not a lot of variation in my quote-unquote strategy here. You just shoot the things down and you're good to go. And there you go, that's homework for you. It's sort of a, it's a game of, we draw a track and just deploy a salvage team, right? Um, 
It's a game of varying pace. Sometimes it's pretty frantic and you can be doing all sorts of shit. Capture enemy ship using two salvage corvettes. Oh, right. Oh, God. All right. So that's, that's why. That's what's going on. All right, let's pull our guys back. Yeah, sometimes it's pretty frantic, and other times you're just waiting around. But that's all right. That suits me fine. While you're waiting, you can look at the uh, magnificent ship designs. Oh, my God, yes. That's so nice. <laughs> Straight out the grease. Yeah, I'm inclined to think that it doesn't actually matter how many of these you save. Mm, beyond, well, who knows? Maybe it does matter. Oh shit! There you go. See, I've lost. I've I've lost um, substantially more than than I did last time. <laughs> You'd think I, I'd re actually remember the mission. Um, evidently not. That's all right. You know what? Maybe it will matter further down, uh, down the track, because. Uh, that is a thing. I've I've heard tales of uh, people actually having to redo large sections of the campaign because they just they kind of screwed it up, which is interesting. Um, I feel like it it would actually be more tedious than anything, but <laughs> but it's an interesting concept because um, it kind of makes the campaign almost non-linear. Sort of. These things are slow, my God. But at least we'll have uh, an assault frigate then. Which is more than we can build. Uh, I'm just wondering. what What do we actually have here? Missile Corvette, Standard Corvette, Interceptor, and what, like 10 Light Corvettes? Is it really? We need some Interceptors. I think we've got one. Yeah, we got one. So we'll build seven. Pull it up to around eight. And eventually, these guys are going to pull this uh, this frigate in. Eventually. In the meantime, I might actually grab these guys. To sort of protect this general area here. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. No. Did I just... Oh, I think I accidentally pulled these guys away somehow. Is that right? What is it going on? Sorry. Oh, okay. No, no, no. That's all right. <laughs> now, see, if I'd remembered the actual mission, or, or more to the point, read what it was all about, read my obje my objectives, rather, um, I probably could have done all that, you know, while I was still attacking the other two, and... Oh well. Oh well. There we go. There we go. There's the one. Oh, I can't remember. I mean, he uh, uses the computers and the crew and whatnot on board that, that frigate to sort out um, what happened.
Oh shit. Yep. So there you go guys. Sorry, I feel like I just had some jingling from my uh Nick Nick a jig. Two new ships, cool. What are those new? All right, uh, frigate and I don't know what. <laughs> oh, okay, hang on. It's all right. Well, it might be the resource controller, cool. Hey, I wonder if I should build one of those because I mean, I'll have it in the next mission. Um, yeah, well, why not, you know? Why the hell not? Resource controls. We can have five of them. Cool. So we're only going to have 300,000 people aboard, I think. Um, that's right. Last time when I was playing on my own, I, I got four. Because I wasn't derping around. <laughs> Seriously, you guys have no idea. Just, just the whole commentary thing. Um, just saps your awareness like nobody's business. <laughs> uh, oh well. So yeah, I guess I guess we'll see if it affects uh, affects future missions. And I, I'm pretty sure that's it. Once we get those, uh, yep, yep, and that's it. That's the end of the mission. All right. We've got the resource controller now. Is there anything else we should build? I just can't remember what the next mission is. To be perfectly honest. Um, oh, hang on. It's starting to come back to me. I think we have to. All right. Uh, we have to destroy a fleet. So. Uh, there's nothing really we can hang on research. Do we have any research? Capital ships. Oh, assault frigates. We may as well research that. That really can't hurt. And maybe we'll upgrade our research while we're at it. Oh yeah, that's a nice looking ship. I really enjoy that. Now, something this bad boy can do that is not actually listed in the tooltip, it can dock, it looks like six, five, well, I mean, not dock, it can um, rearm, uh, repair six strike craft, which is really cool. See those things on the sides there, right there? This thing is bad ass. So it collects resources, it will... Um, It'll sort out strike craft as well. Oh, it's just so cool. I really like the uh, the cushions. This, the the Homer One races in general because they seem really versatile. They've got a lot of interesting toys like the the salvage frigate, and they got uh, two types of repair frigate, which is pretty cool. Um, the Homer Two races, of course, are a little more. Oh, how do you say? Because it's modules, right? I suppose you can sort of have, you can customize certain things. Uh, it's just a different play style. But I, I think I prefer the Homeworld 1 guys. I think I do. You don't have to build uh, like fighter facilities or anything like that. 
I like the uh, the simplicity and and flexibility in in single, you know, single fighters. Oh, really? Well, we didn't have enough. All right, forget about it then. <laughs> Let's just quick dock everything and get the hell out of here. Cool, so that counts as a capital ship, so it will jump with us, looks like. Now that's really messed up. Almost exterminated for for violating a treaty they didn't know about. And that's really got me interested as to you know why was uh hyperspace travel sort of banned. That's what I want to know. Well, at least we're we're already better off than the uh Colonials from Battlestar Galactica. They had only 50,000. We got 300,000. Uh, 300. Yes, 300,000. <laughs> Numbers. <laughs> they don't make a lot of sense to me. All right. Oh, that's right. This is sort of a. There are no resources except in the center here. So it sort of forces you into a fight. From the get-go. Alright, well let's move our resource controller in. I'm glad we got it now. Um, what do we got? Let's uh, strike group these puppies. And get to building some, some nonsense. Ah, oh, awesome. Yes, yes, yes. So our research carries over as well. This is great. This is how you do a campaign. I'm sick of RTS campaigns where it's like you've got to research again from from the very beginning every mission. It's like what what do these idiots forget how to build shit from from day to day? It's nonsense. And I think just the concept of of calling it research is is just erroneous and just a really bad way to go about it. I know it's only uh, like the window dressing of it, but um, there's another way I'm looking for, but I can't remember at the moment. Um, but I reckon instead of calling it research, because that suggests like, you know, you don't have, to, if we, if we talk about something a little simpler, like, um, like if you, if you, if we go to age of empires, you've got to research, uh, the bow and arrow, or, or perhaps a better example, you got to research a sword or a spear. It's like, what? <laughs> that just seems like basic to me. It's like a bunch of people, you know, smashing sticks to that, together and going, hmm, what if we do this? It just, it seems ridiculous to me. What I think would make more sense, and, and especially in, a, in the homeworld setting, um, is if you called it like engineering. So it's not so much you having to actually discover the you know the various technologies but more more having to set up the mass production of such things like you know you may be able to build one new corvette but you can't build a whole squadron of them if that makes sense 
So I don't know. I just think that would that would make a lot more sense, and it would satisfy my overthinking. <laughs> so we're gonna get any resources or what? Man, I love this thing. I think it has a couple of guns on it as well. And by guns, I mean like you know, there's the uh, like anti-strike craft sort of basic things that the mothership gets. It'd be good if the mothership had some proper weapons. Uh, I remember. Uh, when I used to play the, you know, the quote-unquote classic version of Homeworld 2, uh, you know, delving into mods, the complex mod in particular, I think it was that one, or Rearm perhaps, uh, there are a couple that had some really cool elements. I think it was Rearm that could allow you to, sorry, that allowed you to actually customize some of the your capital ships. So you could have, um, there was a modular destroyer, and the, what was more interesting to me was there, I think there are a couple of options to put like um, improved guns on your carriers, which is really cool. I like one of the only things that I don't like about about the Homeworld series is the carriers uh, are pretty weak and um, you know can't defend themselves. I mean, I mean I'm sure they've, they've got uh, the ability to build shit, so they can sort of defend themselves that way with strike craft. Hang on, what's going on here? A mothership class mass signature. Oh, shit. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Oh, right, right. Here it is. All right, I'm just going to let you enjoy this. Trading link established. Oh yeah! So these guys serve as here we go, a means of obtaining new technology, and I suppose it explains uh, how the cushions go from being, I guess, a peaceful uh, race to to being able to build warships. So yeah, let's accept that. We've got the dosh. Oh yeah, interesting ship designs. That you know, you may not like all of them, but they're definitely unique. Okay, so um, let's get let's get some frigates out. Ah, what now? <laughs> Ah, it's Renegraders. All right, all right. 
so these are the guys that uh, that destroyed the god. I can't remember what it's, what it's called, but that <laughs> that ship at the in the very first mission, um, or the second mission rather. I don't know. Yeah, that ship that we were meant to rendezvous with, but we found it in pieces, like it had been mauled by a shark. Uh, yeah, it was Tyrannic Raiders that, that attacked us there. i pull this guy up a little bit. Okay, yeah, yeah, because we're slowly running out of resources. All right. Let's get in there. Anyway, so uh, carriers. I wish you could upgrade carriers to just fire a few missiles, you know? Nothing too special. Just uh, maybe maybe allow it to to take out the odd frigate, you know? That'd be cool. Like maybe a carrier can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with two frigates at most. But any more than that, it'll get wiped out. I don't know, then again, I'm just, I'm, I think, I, when I think carrier, space carrier, I think Battlestar Galactica, you know, so, so the Galactica or, or the Battlestars in general were, were like battleships mixed with carriers and that's just, oh my God, oh my God, that's so, that just gets me, you know, like it's not just launch the fighters, it's launch the fighters and then let's, let's just throw everything we got at him. Oh, man, it gets me so excited. I don't know why. It's probably some sort of unnatural sick thing, but uh, I call it spaceship porn. Gets me every time. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, iron frigate, assault frigate. That iron frigate isn't going to do much, really, so I'm going to see if I can get it out of the way. Maybe I can steal some of their fighters with my salvage corvettes. It's better than just having them Surround doing nothing. How are we going over here? Cool. We seem to be doing reasonably well. And luckily we've got... Uh, oh, sorry. I just whacked the mic. Uh, luckily we got some Corvettes here. So uh, we're dealing with their Corvettes fairly easily. What have we got? Get this Iron Frigate out of the way. It's no use to us. The assault frigates, however, should get the job done. Because they're actually anti-corvette and, and frigates, right? So, this is probably the biggest difference in, uh, in the various ship classes. Hang on. Oh, what's the, oh, right, right, okay. This is why we needed the Ion Frigates. Because they're, uh, they're hitting us with the same thing. I probably shouldn't pull those guys back. All okay, right, um... Anyway, what I was saying, the Frigates... Um... If I, if memory serves, uh, the Higaran sort of equipment, hang on, no, the Higarans have flak frigates. Um, oh, what are the equivalent? I don't know, maybe I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going nuts. But I feel like someone's got assault frigates or something like that, that are meant to be good at something. Oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, these guys, Corvettes and Frigates, that's what they do. Alright, cool, we made short work of those. All in a day's work. So let's put them into a Frigate line. I've sort of been toying around with uh, with the strike groups and, and which formations I like best. Um, honestly, I... S <laughs> I don't have any idea if they if they make any if they have any gameplay significance or if it's just to look pretty. Um, 
I'm pretty sure there's no like, there's no like hard numbers. Like if you go frigate line, then this class of ship is going to do this percentage more damage. I'm, I'm like 99.99% sure that is not the case. It's more just a matter of positioning, I guess. But I think I'm, I think I'm going to go with a, the biggest ships at the front. That seems to work the best in terms of things not bumping into each other. <laughs> okay. Now we've run out of resources. And what do we got up here? Iron Ray Frigate. Okay. Oh, shit. That's a carrier. Right. <laughs> Alright, so my fighters uh, aren't going to be very effective, but they shouldn't be taken out. Actually, they might be taken out by the carrier. It's not very good, but it, it can kind of defend itself against uh, strike craft. And even the mothership, like if you just send a handful of bombers over at a, uh, towards a mothership, they're really not going to do much. I played a, uh, a skirmish game yesterday, I think it was, against Extreme AI. But it was on a really weird map. It was a four-player map with, like, no resources. And I mean nothing. It was, it was an empty asteroid field. And I got to wonder, like, what kind of game you're meant to have with that. But uh, it was a four-player map, but I just had me and uh, and one extreme AI, Vega. Dude, <laughs> all we could do was build a couple of strike craft, really. That's that's it. It, it never went to frigates. Um, and I had one basically there were no resources left i had a mess of strike craft including bombers oh man we actually we want to bring those guys back uh yeah including bombers and it was just like i, I could have won but it was going to take forever to whittle this guy's um capital ship down so i'm just like ah oh, screw this and i quit <laughs> But yeah, what a weird map. I, maybe I was playing it wrong, but I don't know. I like this design of, of carrier. Like, it's, this is ugly as butt. This thing looks like a butt. But I like its sort of, its strange, non-standard layout. Cool, so these iron frigates are... Going to tear through it real quick. I think I prefer the Hagarans frigates in terms of just you know how they look. Uh, I prefer the uh, cushion mothership. That that baby looks so eighties. Mm. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? We got some assault frigates. Oh, here we go. All right, let's take them out, baby. Hang on, can we target their engines? I don't think we can. Hang on. I think it's just because it's weird and it's... <laughs> it doesn't even look like it has a subsystem there. Nope, all right. We just got a pound on it. That's fine. Let's grab everyone, put them into a frigate line. Oh yeah, this guy's got to pop. Ah, that's nice. <laughs> I love the slow burn on that, uh, that explosion. It sort of drifts. Oh, okay, that was it. <laughs> so there must be another... Uh, I think I've lost the plot. I could have sworn there was, uh, there was another mission in there somewhere. But... Uh, Sorry, another another objective in there somewhere. Anyway, so there you go. I think I'll, I'll leave it there for tonight. Now, let me, let me do something fancy here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Setting up my hotkeys. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And make sure to swing over to my website. 
in less than an hour, I'm actually releasing the third single from my upcoming album, Guns. Sorry, no, that's the first album. Whoops. <laughs> my upcoming album is called Badlands. Uh, so yeah, midnight, uh, Australian Eastern Standard Time. I think that's where I am. <laughs> but in about 45 minutes, basically, I'm, uh, I'm releasing that. So that's on my website, which you can see on the screen at the moment. That's ricardoestate.com. Spelt like estate. Uh, there you go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Roleplay Gamer, out.